Hey everyone, it's Random Noob. Today's video is a deck talk on Maeve in patch 2.01. I've been getting a lot of people asking about her, and I think she's actually a pretty good flank, so I want to talk about her a little bit today. For my prediction tier list video, I had Maeve at an A, but the more I play around with her, I think she might go up in value. The other flanks got nerfed, and she did get a decent buff in this patch. Looking at her changes real quick, 9 lives heals for 400 without any cards in it. That's a really big change. Now if you do invest some cards into it, you're going to be healing from 400 to, to 800 damage at the max rank, so that's pretty good. Um, Artful Dodger being removed I think is a big deal because Artful Dodger alongside the 9 lives buff would be huge, but it kind of makes sense if they're removing that talent, they can buff 9 lives a little bit. Checking out Maeve's talents now that Artful Dodger is gone. Um, I think the two main ones really that people are going to be running are Cat Burglar and Street Justice. Uh, the cool things about these talents that I really like, I mean, I think they are the best too, but the cool thing about them is they change the playstyle of Maeve. I think with Cat Burglar, you use your Prowl more as like a damage boost, and your Pounce is your mobility, while Street Justice, it feels like the complete opposite. It's just, it's kind of cool. It really, it's an interesting change up to her playstyle. Rogue's Gambit, I really don't like it. It doesn't do much to me. Elims don't really happen that much in this meta, especially. And the reason Maeve's good in this meta is because she can poke, right? She can poke, she doesn't have to dive in until she's ready to, to execute someone with Street Justice, or she can just poke with Cat Burglar. And Rogue's Gamut just does not, for me, fit the meta at all. Considering all that and Maeve's role in the meta, right now I think Cat Burglar is her best talent. Street Justice definitely has some merit. Like I said, I think depending on your playstyle preference or their team comp, you might want to run it if you want to execute their tanks or something. But in terms of killing DPS and healers, which a flank wants to do, Cat Burglar is probably the go-to. Looking at the changes in the decks, um, here was the deck from last patch that a lot of people were running. Persistence 4 I think is getting changed with uh, the healing on 9 lives now. And this deck is still pretty solid. It might be run in a... Um, Street Justice deck, if you don't want to use 9 lives as much, possibly, and you only want 400 healing. Maeve's cards really didn't change that much, and this deck, like I said, this deck is still pretty decent, but I know you guys obviously want to see the new stuff, so let's take a look at the new deck me and Rock have kind of been conjuring up. Currently I'm running Scamper 3. This card is very, very good. I think getting that extra movement speed after Pounce allows you to maneuver around the map really well. 6 cents 5 I think is a staple in Maeve. I don't think any of the other DR cards are good and you really need to run a DR card on her because she's so weak as a champion she just doesn't have much HP kind of like EV in that respect chase 2 um, talking with rock monkey a little bit I think we really think this card is a staple in any cat burglar deck or any de Mave deck in general um, the extra movement speed bonus pairs up really nicely with scamper doesn't really have much diminishing returns when you only have you know two movement speed um, multipliers the fourth card is patch up four i was talking about this card earlier in the buffs a little bit um with with patch up at four uh our nine lives heals for 720 damage that's basically like you have 2700 hp ish effective health without any street cred right that's that's a lot of effective hp when you're in a fight but of course, they have Cauterize or something, you get healed a little less, but with the 9 lives buff, I think this card is definitely really good in pretty much every Maeve deck, and, I, and I'd run it in all of them. And the last card is just a really of a one of, it's just a, a card that probably fits in every Maeve deck, it's just how many points you put into it. With this deck, I needed points in other cards, so I, I only have it at 1. After looking at my deck, there are some cards you guys can change that maybe fit your playstyles more, if you don't like Street Crad or Scamper, for example. Um, Persistence, like in my old deck, that's still a good card. You really need to run it at 4 or 5 points to really get advantage of the damage reduction because 4% per level is pretty bad considering the rest of the game's DR cards and it did get nerfed really hard. Um, On Edge is also a really good card in a 9 lives build. Um, it fits well. Reducing the cooldown that, on that is very good. And Shred in like a Street Justice build is a card you can run as a one of or something like that. Just an extra half second um, per level is pretty decent on Pound CD reduction. Now closing out the video, I have three major Mave tips to help you guys become better Mave players. Number one, adjust your playstyle between your talent choices. For example, 
With Cat Burglar, you want to be using your pounce to get DR mobility and not so much for damage. While with Street Justice, your prowl becomes your main source of mobility while your pounce is an execute. My second tip is pay attention to your cooldowns. With 9 lives resetting your cooldown of your prowl and your pounce, you want to be cognizant of when you want to use that. With the 9 lives buff, you really want to be using 9 lives to heal yourself more than resetting your cooldowns willy nilly. And also, your pounce cooldown isn't very long, so let's say you pounce and you don't use your prowl, you might want to wait until your pounce resets and use another pounce before you use your 9 lives. Managing your cooldowns really sets the better Mave players apart from the worst ones. My third and most important Mave tip is using your DR to negate incoming damage. You're investing 5 points into a card in your deck that gives you 25% damage reduction for 2 seconds after using Pounce. You want to be getting as much value out of that card as possible. And the way to do that is by using your Pounce before damage comes to you and not after. It's much like Eevee and her Ice Block in that regard. Obviously this tip sounds really basic, but the more you think about it, it's very very important. Maeve has 1900 base HP. That's one of the lowest in the game. She's very, very weak, and she doesn't have a way to immune damage completely, so you really need to take advantage of this card as much as you possibly can. And that's it for my 5 minute champ chat on Maeve. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see everyone in the next vid. Peace!